after working with hundreds of families of three to six year olds, most of the parents say they feel like they're living in some type of old horror movie. So being able to connect and have their child listen seems impossible. So stay tuned as I take you from this to this. The first words out of someone's mouth that comes to visit me for a consultation is my child just doesn't listen as they seem to think it's only their child and in reality this is going to be a common trait in every three to six year old unless they're really above their stage of development but why is this so let's think about this in a little bit more detail you see from an early age your child is predominantly a kinesthetic learner which means they learn by seeing and touching pushing punching, biting, feeling their way around. They've got to see everything. They're not speaking a language at one years old. And when they do pick up those few odd words, they're not conversing with them. They're not able to hold a conversation. Now let's imagine you're going to take a second language or a third language if you already speak some languages. But you're going to take another language. And what we're going to do, we're going to go to that native country. We're going to sit around the dinner table with a big family of about 15 people. And you're going to be there with just one or two, maybe even three years of of this language and everyone's conversing around the table they're speaking about you know where the plates have come from and who's come in and who the name of this person is and what they did yesterday but you're still on hey where are the plates where's the knife and fork you can't move ahead that far and follow the conversation you can't hold that amount of information in your brain because you simply haven't learned enough yet and this is exactly is what's happening in your child you see, the thing is, the early days are kinesthetic, they're learning, they're starting to pick up some words. But what's happening more importantly in their brain, they're starting to develop auditory processing, the neuro pathway that are responsible for holding these information, holding the auditory information so that they can follow the commands, they can listen. So when you're saying, hey, I want you to brush your teeth, I want you to put your jacket on, I want you to make your bed, I want you to grab your book, I want you to grab your bag, I want you to come downstairs, I want you to get your bottle. You, they're still on the first one, maybe the second one. But then we'll turn around and saying, why doesn't my child listen? It's not that they don't, it's not that they're bad behaviour, it's simply science. That the brain is not ready to hold that information yet, to follow the auditory pathways. It's still following the kinesthetic and now introducing, maturing those auditory processing. So let me give you the absolute best way I know to build those auditory processes in your child. So that when you're walking past the other parents at the school, you feel like this. So the absolute best way I know from years of training martial arts and coaching children and adults to help them build those auditory processes, moving away from the kinesthetic learning into auditory learning is trickery. It's the same if you wanna strengthen something like a muscle. If you go to the gym and you lift a weight, your muscle gets stronger the more you do it. Now, when you use trickery, you're also building a muscle, but it's an auditory processing muscle. So the more you do it, the stronger that focus is gonna get. So here's what we're gonna do. Anything we have, like a race, doing your shoes, tying your shoelaces, we can use trickery. So for example, who's gonna be the first one to put their shoes on? Are you ready? Three, two, one, ghost. I didn't say go. So you can do this for anything. We're gonna have a race, are you ready? On your marks, get set, goose. Ah, I didn't say go, I tricked you. Now the brain's going to go, what? why are you tricking me? What's going on? Now I need to listen. I need to listen in order to get the word right. And every time you absolutely nail down that focus into auditory processing, it's going to get stronger. It's going to start building those neuro pathways into your auditory processing, which is going to get better now, at school, later in life, and it's really going to help. This is just one of those techniques, one of those games I use daily in my martial arts school to help children boost their auditory learning, their auditory processing. So if this video has helped you, then please like and subscribe below as it really helps me. And if you'd like to go in more detail on the methods I use in my martial arts school, 
check the description below because I've designed a course on the eight most powerful objective measures that I've used in my martial arts school over years and years and years that are not just for auditory processing but for discipline, for focus, for self-confidence and many, many others. So it doesn't feel like every day is a cage match against your child just to get them to listen. And check out this other video which takes you to the next step and will really help you.